welcome back to the channel and this lab is not properly configured yet so i request you please watch the video carefully so first of all just log in with your credentials and once you're done with this just simply come back over here and just simply search for the big query open this thing in new tab now just simply come on the task number one and scroll down and then copy this name just copy this name come back over here and then click on this three dot and then click on this create data set just wait and paste the name over here like this and then click on create data set so we have done with that point number one now just copy this name copy this name click on this add option then click on this connection and then click on this enable API just wait for a second and it's done now again click on this connection to external data now for the connection type you have to just choose a big leg like this now just paste the name which you just copy this name okay now just simply click on create connection just wait and here you can see connection just simply click over here then copy this service account copy this now just simply search for the iam open this thing new tab come back over here just wait for a couple of seconds and then click on this grant access and in the principal field you have to just paste your service account and then click on this blank space okay now for the role you have to just simply type storage object viewer this thing just click over here and it must look like this if it's so just simply click on save just wait and it's done now please pay attention guys once you're done with this just simply come back over here in the big query and refresh the page you have to refresh the page otherwise when you are creating a table you might face an error okay so just wait and it's loading it's loading and it's done now click on this three dot of online data set click on this three dot and then click on this create table just wait and from here you have to just choose google cloud storage now click on this browse option and then click on this arrow and then choose this file and then click on select so it's done now for the table name just copy this user online session table name. just copy that and paste over here now for the table type you have to just choose the external table and click on this checkbox and just wait and it's loaded connection id is automatically loaded now click on this checkbox of auto schema like this just simply click on create table just wait for a second and if you face an error you have to just refresh the page and again do the same task of creating a table so it's done now if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue just wait and as you can see we got a score now this is a very important task so i request you please watch the video carefully just simply come back over here click on this table name then click on this edit schema scroll down and from here you have to just choose 30 like this now what policy tag we have to choose we have to choose zip latitude ip address and longitude so just click over here scroll down latitude ip address and this like this once you're done with this scroll up click on this add policy tag just wait click on this arrow and then click on this radio button click on select and save and here you can see in policy tag it's added over here okay now click on this plus icon okay and i will share this query i will share this query in description box so please watch the video carefully just copy this query paste over here like this now let me just zoom in for you a little bit okay now what you have to do just go back to the lab instructions copy this project id and just replace over here like this okay i hope you got my point and once you've done this you will get a green tick over here just simply click on this run wait for a second and you will get a result over here as you can see now just go back to the live instruction and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue if you didn't get a score on your first attempt no need to worry just wait for a couple of seconds and you will get a score without any issue okay now task three is very easy just copy this username copy that go back to your iam and just here just simply search and hit enter like this now you can see this just click on this pencil icon now you have to just remove this storage object viewer role click on this delete and then click on save just wait and it's done now if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress it might take a couple of time to update the score so no need to worry about that just wait for a couple of seconds you will get a score on task number three is And as you can see, after a couple of attempts, I got a score. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day, guys.